Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast, the number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. Welcome back to the channel. This is Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name is Quentin. I'm your host, and I want to thank you guys for locking in with me to see what we're talking about. But if you're liking what you see towards the end of the video, if you get some information, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. So with that, let's get right into it. The Chicago Bulls made some moves this offseason that were kind of intriguing. We traded Alice Caruso so we can get Josh Giddy on this team, getting us a young point guard. We've been struggling at point guard for years. Every time we think we have someone, they get injured. So, hopefully Josh Giddy can be that point guard of the future. I do think he has potential in really taking this team to new heights. We also drafted Buzelis. That's going to be a move that I think is underrated around the league when it comes into future insight. I think he's going to become a star. And I think a lot of people are going to regret not picking him. Let's not forget, there were talks about him being the first overall draft pick at certain points a couple years ago. So he has talent. We also went out and got Chris Duarte. I don't think that's going to be a big pickup for the team. But I do think it shows that we're trying to go towards shooting. And we also got Jalen Smith from the Pacers trying to get a little bit younger with our big man. We finally got someone who is young, a little bit athletic, and can also shoot. But once again, they can't really play defense on the perimeter. That's just something we got to deal with. But with that, the Bulls are trying to go younger. They're trying to give people chances, right? You can see that even with us giving Kenny Lofton Jr. a one-year contract, hoping that we can maybe either cut him or see if he can do something, but they're willing to give them an opportunity to make a step. And that shows that the Bulls are trying to be a different type of team, right? We're not going after the Wades, the Rondos, the Lopez's. We're not trying to get Kobe. We're not trying to get LeBron. We're not trying to get everyone who's a big name right now. We're focusing on trying to build through the draft and trying to push our younger players to develop. Now, this foundation is great, but my concern is who is going to step up for this Bulls team. I don't think anyone on this team is going to be, you know, a mega all-time one of the greatest players on the league type of t player, but I do think we have some pieces that will be here when we are a championship contender. Kobe White has shown that he is a bona fide scorer. I think that will continue. He's going to be able to shoot, get to the rim, do what he needs to do. I think him being moved to the two guards is going to help a lot. And I do think that him and Zach will be 1A, 1B while Zach is here. And once Zach moves on, Kobe will be our main piece when it comes to scoring. Now, I know he's going to be set, but will Giddy step up? Will Josh Giddy have a comeback season? Because right now he's coming off a season where he didn't play very well. He was benched in the playoffs for not playing good defense. Will he have a comeback year? It's hard to say. I think he will. I think the OKC Thunder built the team around him at first, but once they started to develop, Shea became a megastar, and that's something that pushed Josh Giddy way off of what he was supposed to be. Right? He no longer was the ball-heavy, handle-the-ball-make-decisions player. He was an off-the-ball player who couldn't shoot that well and also was having trouble at the rim, probably because he's used to making it himself with the dribble. So it became something where he just didn't fit. I do think he will fit our team, though. We need a point guard. We need someone to get Kobe looks. We need someone to hit Patrick Williams on the drive and someone who makes our team want to move off ball, which is something that we struggle with a lot. So I think that'll help a lot for our team. And I also think Patrick Williams will be better. I don't think he will ever be Kawhi Leonard. But I do think that this season, after his injury, after time off, with DeMar DeRozan being gone, with Zach Levine most likely being traded at some point this year, I think he will become a little bit more aggressive. He won't become a lion, but he might become a baby tiger. Who knows what will happen? But I do think he'll be a little bit better at getting to the rim, finding his shot, because he will be relied on a little bit more. That also brings me to Buzelis. I don't think he will take off this year. A lot of people are saying he's the answer. He is the key to the Bulls' success. He's not going to be amazing this year. 
He's going to be okay. He has to learn the NBA game. He has to get used to the speed. They're going to play him differently if he does show that he is good. And he's going to have to adjust to that. But most of all, he's going to have to put on weight. You saw it in the Summer League. He was making plays. He looked amazing at certain points. He had flashes. But there also were flashes where he just looked like he didn't have enough strength to do what he wanted to do, to get to the rim in the way he wanted to get to the rim. And that's something that will come with time. Over the years, he'll probably put on 5 to 10 pounds of muscle. He'll get stronger. He'll learn how to maneuver his body with these type of players. And he'll get better over the next two to three years. I hope it's not like Patrick where we got to wait five years for him to even show anything. But I do think... That Buzelis in the next two years will become one of the main pieces of this team. Now, we're talking about the future, so let's get into my thoughts on the future of the Bulls. One, I think Kobe White is going to be here for the long haul. He's a scorer. You always need a scorer. Whether he ends up being our main attraction or you find that you end up getting a superstar and Kobe becomes that off-the-bench type of player, he's always going to be able to put the basket or put the ball in the basket, right? So it's somebody you want on your team, someone who plays hard, who can score. I do think Patrick Williams, if he does not show anything this year, will become a trade piece. At some point, you got to give up on the man, all right? I don't think Patrick will become what we think he will become. I think he will become a good player, but not a great player. And that comes down to if the Bulls have the pieces to make sure that it's okay that he's good or if they need him to be great. And if they need him to be great to be successful, I think we trade him for some other pieces. We talked about Buzelis being okay in the next two years, but I also think Josh Giddy will become a superstar again in the league. And when I say superstar, I should probably preference that. I don't actually mean superstar. That was a little bit of a flip up of words. I think he's going to come back to being a great point guard, right? Josh Giddy's going to get the team involved. He's going to be a pass first point guard. He's going to have the ball in his hand making decisions now. You add that with... Lonzo Ball being behind him, coaching him up in practice, and I think that's going to unlock parts of Giddy's game that we haven't seen yet, right? The two of them with their thought process, with their IQ of the game, putting that together is going to show a lot of improvement for not just Giddy, but for the Bulls offense in a whole, for them understanding that they have two people who will get them the ball if they work to get open. I don't see the Bulls being a championship contender for years, but I do see us being a playing team this year, a playoff team next year, and hopefully two and a half, three years from now, we're looking like a team that can make a run in the playoffs. Get through the first round. Get through the second round if you're lucky. But I'm okay waiting for the Bulls to work on their young players and build something that's for the future, not just for right now, not just so we could trade everyone for Kevin Durant. I want us to make a team where we play well. We have a playoff team that is great, And at some point, a superstar wants to come here and keep the pieces around him so we automatically become a championship team. We won't need three people, and we can get one superstar and this team to jail in a way that they can be perfect to play with that superstar. Those are my thoughts on the Bulls. It's been a while. I am back. We're going to be making videos again. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit the like button, like I said at the beginning of the video. Also... Don't forget to leave a comment. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the team. It does help the algorithm. It helps me go out to more people. And the more people I go out to, the more people who like. The more who subscribe, the more videos I get to make because I get to make this more of a full-time thing. So lock in with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you agree with what I said. And if you don't, let me know in the comment section. I'll talk to you all next time. Peace. Peace.